Welcome to today's session. We're happy to have you here. Today is day 19. Please close your eyes and let your breathing be easy and relaxed. But also full. Notice where there may be tension in your body and decide that during our time together today, it's okay to let it go. Also, please decide that the energies of other people that you may have picked up today or the last few days, decide that you can let those go during our time together today too. Please begin sending cores from the bottoms of your feet and your root chakra, also known as the first, down into the earth and begin inhaling the energy of the earth up into your body on every inhale for the duration of this uh, session today. Let this energy fill your body, follow it up over a couple of breaths, up to your shoulders, all the way up your legs, to your, through your hips, to your torso, to your shoulders, and then uh, out through your hands and fingertips, and also on the next one, up through your neck, to your head, and to the top of your head, to your crown. Follow this energy the entire way. Now, please call your guidance team in. Let them know that you are open to receiving their insight and support. Even if you have not uh, made official contact with them or are not quite sure how they operate, let them know you are willing to see their influence in your life. And just so you know, they are always trying to get through to you, but when we have fear, they cannot get through. When we are frustrated or angry, they cannot get through. So let them know you're willing to open, to let them get through to you. Thank them in advance for all they do. And let them know you're willing to learn the language they use to communicate with you, the various ways that it can happen. Okay, thank you. So for those of you who are, would like to receive energy work, please make two decisions. The first one is to be affected for the better by the vibration in the channel's voice. And the second one is to receive the actual energy work. Things will happen because of each uh, method, so to speak. We ask you to open to each one or to both of them. Say yes, yes please in your mind if you're open to that and thank Jehudi and Metatron and Tom in advance for working together to do this for you. To those of you who have said yes, we're going to begin that process now. Sending energy to your root chakra first. When the root, the first chakra, is uh, clear and stable, the rest of your life begins to uh, fall in place. Uh, issues that may have to do with other energy centers, any of the uh, upper six energy centers, begin to unravel. The tension unravels. They begin to work themselves out, so we focus a lot on the root. So please decide right now that in this moment, as we are here together, that everything is fine and that you are safe. Decide that you are willing to see all that is in your life and all that comes to you as reflecting a vibration that you may be unconsciously emitting, but that you are emitting.
Decide you're willing to give your guides and the universe and others the benefit of the doubt that what comes to you has to do with what you are here to learn, even if it is not at first obvious. Decide once again that in this moment, here together, meditating, that everything is fine and that you are safe. Now imagine your root chakra spinning slowly in whatever direction it will, but just imagine that it is activated, allowing it to be activated. Picture it moving. Feel that part of your body. Do a scan beginning with the bottoms of your feet as you inhale and all the way up to your hips. Just follow that breath from the bottoms of your feet to your hips. Realizing that this entire part of your body is the root chakra, relates to the root chakra. On every inhale, you're bringing this energy in. On every exhale, just relax, just let it go. I want you to decide uh, once again that you are willing to find out that you are safe and that everything is fine. You live in a world full of other people and everybody, every single other being is in the process of learning to go from fear into love. So you are living in a world full of people who are trying to deal with fear. This is loud for you right now on this part of the timeline. How do I stay aware of what's happening in the world and not go into fear mode? Do I need to protect myself? Our answer is a emanate a positive vibration. This creates positivity in the world around you. When you decide you're safe, we suggest, uh, we uh, instruct, then you begin to create it. So being aware of your feet, your legs, the upper legs and up to the hips, and be aware of this route right now, decide once again that in this moment everything is fine and that you are safe. And we're going to uh, do some scouring and scrubbing of this root chakra for a moment before we proceed. Realize that when you don't know you're safe or you're afraid of something, this is your mind. You may feel it all over your body, but it is your mind being in charge in that moment. We want your mind to be a tool or helpful advisor. So we want you to realize that when you feel fear, when you experience fear, A, it is very seductive to give into it, but B, it is only your mind. If you are in your body, breathing the energy of the earth up into it all the time, 24-7, seriously, we want you to do this all the time, stay connected to the earth, then you're in your body and your mind is a tool, is a helpful advisor an ally that helps you. But the logic of the mind is not the logic of spirit. It is therefore not the logic of soul. Therefore, it is not the logic of you as an entire, whole, complete being. You live in a world in which you've been trained to rely on the logic of mind as the apex of evolution. But this uh, logic of mind has nothing to do with what your spirit, your soul, is actually having you experience. So decide once again that in this moment, everything's okay and that you're fine. Decide once again, please, that you are willing to see everything that exists in your life and everything that comes to you as vibrated to you so that you learn to go from fear into love. We would love for you to see everything that comes to you through this lens. Every single thing. And that you are more often than not, and then all the time, in your body, without the mind being a dictator, without the mind being a dictator for life, this is what it does, it appoints itself. Mm -hmm. 
so you can experience the world around you in a new way. You can see that when others create fear, they are creating divinely. When you create a calm self-acceptance, you are creating divinely. When people co-create grief and betrayal, they are creating divinely. And when you have compassion for what others experience, even when they create pain for themselves, you are creating divinely. To always go from fear into love, this is your mission, to learn how to do this. And it necessitates being in fear. Now a couple more breaths, breathe the, breathe the energy of the earth up through your feet and all the way up to your hips. Realize that since everything that comes to you serves you, that you are supported. You are not alone. You are not on your own. You are not by yourself. The mind will have you think that. The mind wearing its a colorful, decorated dictator for life costume will tell you that you are alone. There is no support. God has left you. The universe is not kind. You are one of billions, and what difference can you make? Oh, you're not safe. Look, it's Ebola. It's terrorism. Decide right now that you are willing to create a sense of safety within yourself. Decide you are willing to draw on the energy of the earth on a daily basis. Decide you are willing to allow your helpful, loving, supportive spirit guides to help you on a daily basis. If you give all the power in your life to your mind, you will feel that you are alone, that you don't have options. You will have a, a situations that come up, dilemmas that turn out to be false dichotomies. And then you'll be stressed and you'll be sad and upset and frustrated and you will not know that this is temporary. Your mind will have you spin into fear because it does not have the tools of spirit guides and the earth and having faith. It does not have the tools that your soul has at its disposal. The mind will cut you off and keep you isolated. So decide once again you are willing to draw on the energy of the earth on a daily basis. Decide you are willing to allow your spirit guides to come in and help you. They are always trying to. And to do these two things effectively, of course, as we mentioned earlier, you cannot be in fear. So please decide, additionally, or with those two other things, that you are willing to learn more about going from fear into love. Now, beginning now, on your inhales, breathe the energy of the earth fully into your body from your root and the bottoms of your feet and all the way up to your fourth chakra on, and on every exhale, gently relax open the fourth chakra. Gently relax open your heart. Decide that in this moment, everything is okay. You're fine. Whatever it is that's been stressing you out, it is probably messed up interpretations of your mind, and it is temporary. Things your mind cannot see. Two things your mind can never grasp. Decide that whatever it is in general that's stressing you out, that you are willing to draw on the energy of the earth and get back into your body. When you're in your body, and you know you're safe, you know everything's fine, you know that everything's temporary even when it's not fine, your mind can relax and you can actually use it as it should be used. Continue this process, breathing in from below and then out through your fourth chakra. Focus on allowing yourself to relax this fourth chakra open. We don't want you to force anything or push. We want you to decide that you are safe enough to relax your heart open right now.
All we do is to help you. All your guides do is to help you. This channel as well. You are supported. All the earth does is to help you. Allowing you to draw on its energy. Accepting your excess energy. That you can no longer use or that doesn't serve you. also want you to realize that in all the ways that you may, at times or often, or periodically, feel disconnected from others or disconnected from society or from uh, the collective as a whole, you might perceive you're different, you might perceive you are in a different evolutionary stage, so what could you talk about with others? You might feel that you have unique interests. You might, you might uh, any, any of these things, realize these are also, these have to do with the mind as well. These reasons or rules, they are in fact beliefs. And I want you to decide that you are willing to see others as divine beings somewhere along the continuum of learning to go from fear-based motivations into love-based motivations. That you are willing to see others through this lens. On the next two or three exhales, allow this heart chakra to open even more. Decide you are safe. Decide everything's fine. It's safe enough to relax your heart open. To really move more energy than you have thus far on this uh, session today. It is imagination. Tying this energy movement with breath. You know, inhale the energy of the earth as you inhale in your body. Exhale through your heart, through your chest. It is imagination. And you need to realize that imagination is one of your divine powers. When you set intentions, you're using imagination most often. When you're daydreaming, you're using imagination. The linear logical mind does not want you to use imagination because it is not based in practical, concrete reality. So the more that we have you move energy in this way, you are exercising imagination. Are you really sending cords into the earth? You're sending energetic cords, but you're creating it through imagination. You are causing it to happen. This is a form of magic, by the way. Making it happen, in one way it is through imagination, but because you are doing it, you are making it happen. You are doing it. Your energy field can be exercised, toned, cleared out, stretched, strengthened, cleaned, through imagination. This is all we're doing. So when some of these things are difficult for people, they have also had issues with other kinds of meditation. We ask them not to be stressed about it, but to realize that the mind has thus far been in charge. The mind is judging the meditative process or evaluating what's really happening. Put your attention back on the cords into the earth from the bottoms of your feet and your root chakra, breathing this energy fully up into your body, thanking the earth for being available to you 24-7, reaffirming your commitment to use this energy, to draw on it often, daily, ideally 24-7, and on every inhale, bringing that energy up into your fourth chakra, gently allowing that fourth chakra to open. Now begin wrapping this energy you're generating from your heart around your body, around your whole energy field. Feed yourself this loving frequency. Decide you are safe enough to love yourself. Realize that nobody's going to do it the way you need to be loved. Nobody. And this tool, this exercise, is a major way to do it. Sometimes when you do this, just for your reference, you will call up or activate parts of you that 
feel you do not deserve love because of what you have done or haven't done. We want you to break through this, to step up to this place every day, to walk up to this uh, threshold and open your heart on a daily basis in this way. Allowing this fourth chakra to open just a little more, deciding that you are safe enough at all times to live with an open heart. Now decide any debris that's come up through this conversation, this session, anything that doesn't belong to you, any stress or tension, any old ideas of who you are or should be or could have been. Decide you cannot possibly use any of this stuff to tell you who you are today or going forward. Send it down through the cords into the earth and thank the earth for receiving these energies. And this uh, is the end of our time together today. So we thank you for joining us and we will speak with you tomorrow for day 20 of 22. Take care of yourself. Be gentle. Withhold judgment. Keep deciding that you are safe and everything's fine. Keep connected to the earth. We want you to play with this all day, every day. Thank you and we'll speak to you tomorrow.